Yeah, and we are not the only ones here in the Pacific Northwest no. having problems. I mean, all across the country, uh, they're going to be experiencing some yeah. brutal temperatures. They will, and in areas like down in the south that aren't really expecting these temperatures, right. even in the wintertime, we'll likely see impact from uh, this latest Arctic outburst of uh, air. So take a look here. Uh, that big mass of deep purple is that cold Arctic air streaming in from the north. Notice how that just will fall down across the Midwest west and down to the south spots like Texas may have temperatures that feel like they're in the negatives there out to Dallas. Take a look out towards the Midwest Chicago. Maybe temperatures feeling like uh, they're in uh, the negatives there, maybe 30 degrees below zero by Friday morning. So those Arctic air also shifting out towards the east here and impacting a lot of states uh, as we head our way into the week. So a lot of areas feeling these impacts. We will start to bring in these impacts by tonight and overnight. The winter weather likely arrives on Thursday, but we'll bring in that cold air first. Notice up towards the north here, this big patch of freezing temperatures. We're in the single digits up in northern and central Washington, eastern Washington, out to Spokane, 8 degrees right now. Pendleton tapping into that cold air uh, slightly now with temperatures in the teens. Now as we head our way into Tonight, we've got those winds whipping and ramping up across the gorge here that will filter in this cold air right into Portland and down the valley. So we are setting that stage there to bring in that winter weather as we're cold enough and that moisture arrives by Thursday. So take a look here. Not only will we be cold, we'll add to that cold because the winds will be so strong. Notice by this evening, likely on your commute home around 6 to 7 o'clock, we'll start to bring in that breezy east wind. So if you're outside walking around, maybe an after dinner walk, it will be so cold out there and will continue those winds all day Thursday with maybe even some gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So thankfully right now we are starting out with quiet conditions. The winds are still pretty light. Temperatures are sitting above freezing right now in Portland and we're also dry. The rain that came in yesterday was very quick to work out the door. So we're back to dry conditions as we start our Wednesday morning. Today for the coast, also a calm day. So today will be a great day to hit those grocery stores, hit those last minute shopping stops to get those Christmas presents because we may be kind of locked down in our homes with the roads too icy to drive on throughout Thursday night and Friday and also portions of Saturday too. So get those things done today. I imagine grocery stores will be pretty busy. So uh, get out there and get those groceries. Temperatures out towards the coastline in the upper 30s to low 40s today. And again, we're still dry in the valley. Upper 30s also so near 40 degrees down to Salem. We'll see a chilly day with gusty winds setting up uh, with again speeds around 40 plus miles per hour tonight and overnight. So there's our next system. It's still offshore, still quite a bit of ways away. So we are dry heading into today, but then we'll see this elongated front here starting to shift closer to the Pacific Northwest. It arrives by Thursday afternoon. We'll start to bring in some showers and with temperatures tomorrow sitting below freezing all day. We'll likely see some snow showers from the system rolling in. So let's time things out here as we head our way into the afternoon by about two o'clock. Really anytime after lunch, we'll start to see some light snow showers setting up right around Portland, freezing rain even beginning out towards the coast range and for sections of the coast. Then that precipitation turns heavier as we head towards our midnight on Thursday. And there still could be some minor tweaks to timing on this precipitation, but a safe bet is to again make it back home, be indoors by uh, the late afternoon and early evening on Thursday because by about midnight we're under freezing rain and that will continue into Friday morning. Then all day Friday we're back under some freezing rain showers. So often on icing freezing rain is super cooled rain showers that freeze on contact to freezing surfaces and with that cold air in Portland again, we're not bumping above freezing until we maybe hit Saturday. Uh, that freezing rain will turn to ice on contact with roads and sidewalks and power lines. So we're expecting those freezing rain showers throughout uh, the day on Friday and icing totals could top out maybe around a third of an inch of ice in Portland and that could be heavy enough to cause power lines to down and we could see some power outages. Uh, also, um, we could see some damage to tree branches too. So we're looking at some heavy impacts here heading into Thursday night and Friday. Cold temperatures will continue again. We don't really bump to above freezing until we hit sometime on Saturday, so it'll be very slow to thaw. Thankfully, Christmas Day, we're back near the 50s and more mild and warming up. Also, rain showers continue for Christmas Day there on Sunday.